What's going on everyone? My name is Rich. This is Theme Park Motivation and today I'm going to tell you my top 10 favorite steel coasters. I recently did a video on my top 10 wooden coasters. A lot of you really loved it, some of you not so much. But keep in mind, this is all opinion based. In the theme park and roller coaster community, I always feel it's best to get perspective. So if you have an opinion, feel free to comment below and tell me your favorite coasters. My top 10 list will include only roller coasters in America. It will also include steel hybrid coasters. So without further ado, I want to give my honorable mention to Maverick falling just short of my top 10 list. I absolutely love Maverick, everything about this coaster. Love the snappy quick little transitions. I love the launch up the lift hill. I know it's kind of weak, but that 95 degree drop is awesome. Maverick just proves to me that tallest and fastest isn't always the best. So I might get some criticism for my number 10 pick having this over Maverick, but Pantheon, I absolutely love this coaster. Having that backwards airtime moment, being completely weightless at the top of the spike, it makes for an incredible experience. And if you've never been on this coaster, I highly recommend getting to Busch Gardens Williamsburg and trying this bad boy out because it is an awesome coaster with four launches, an insane zero G stall. And although the theming absolutely sucks on this ride, the views definitely make up for it. This is a great night ride as well. And much like Maverick, it also has some quick snappy little transitions as well. So my number nine coaster, and that would be X2 at Six Flags Magic Mountain. This coaster is regarded as one of the most intense coasters. I however didn't find it to be that intense. I thought it was a great experience and an awesome coaster. Definitely the best fourth dimension coaster I've ever been on. However, I've only ever been on some of the little SNS free spinning 4D coasters. I do not want to take anything away from this coaster because it is one of the best coasters in America without a doubt. It's definitely an experience like no other. Well, speaking of intense, my number eight coaster, and that would be Project 305, formerly Intiminator 305. And this is located at King's Dominion in Doswell, Virginia. Best way to describe it, Maverick on steroids. The quick transitions on the second half of this coaster are insane. That bank turn right after the first drop usually leaves people graying or blacking out. I can't tell you how many times I've got off this thing and somebody blacked out on it. It definitely lacks in air time, but totally makes up for it in speed. Moving on to my number seven steel coaster, and we go out to Branson, Missouri, to Silver Dollar City and Time Traveler. I believe this coaster to be the most re-rideable coaster out there if you like inversions. If not, probably not going to be the most re-rideable coaster. That being said, there is no bad seat on this coaster whatsoever. Front row, back row, middle, doesn't matter. It's a different experience every single time and I absolutely love this coaster. It was my first year getting out to Silver Dollar City this past summer and I basically waited to come up with my top 10 list until I rode this thing. So glad I did because I'm glad this thing made the top 10 for me. I absolutely love the restraints on this thing too. Very comfortable and the theming was incredible as well. My number six coaster, Airy Force One at Fun Spot Atlanta. Who would have thought that a little small amusement park would add an elite coaster to their lineup? If you even want to call it a lineup. I mean, they have two little kitty coasters pretty much. This thing is incredible. And honestly, it's worth a visit to Fun Spot Atlanta just for this coaster. A lot of times you can just keep re-riding this thing all day long. Sometimes you don't even have to get off of it. That being said, the layout, everything about it, incredible experience. Absolutely hated the brake run though. 
or this thing would be a top three coaster without a doubt. That brake run, it absolutely felt like somebody punched you in the gut. Other than that though, the stall was great, the arcade roll, and the pacing all were incredible. Here's where people will probably start chugging some Haterade, but I absolutely love Wildcat's Revenge and I do think it's better than Air Force One, which is why I had to put it at the number 5 spot. Located at Hershey Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania, is Pennsylvania's best roller coaster. Without a doubt, Wildcat's Revenge has some great pacing. It's like a little mini Iron Gwazi. That one airtime hill right after the world's largest underflip has some of the best ejector airtime of any coaster I've ever been on. The Zero G stall is awesome as well. My number four coaster, Fury 325. And what is not to love about this thing? 95 miles an hour. That first drop is insane. The airtime is relentless. Such a re-rideable coaster. Located at Carowinds in Charlotte, North Carolina, is the best giga coaster in the world. When you look at the total package of what makes a roller coaster great, there's a lot of factors that go into it. And I would say one of the best things about Fury is the crew. The Fury crew have some of the best dispatches, so quick, great people, so a big shout out goes to them. Fury is one of the best steel coasters in the world. It literally wins the golden ticket for best steel coaster pretty much every year and for good reason. I would love to know what everybody else's favorite steel coasters are, so make sure to comment below and tell me what your favorite coasters are. I don't think it should come as a surprise to anyone, but of course Velocicoaster made this list. Coming in at number three, this is definitely one of the best coasters in the world with some of the best theming and unique inversions such as the Mosasaurus roll, that awesome zero G stall, and who does not love getting launched up that top hat and the awesome views. This thing will have you feeling like you're gonna fly right out of your seat, but it's not the best steel coaster in the state of Florida. Coming in at number two, Iron Gwazi. I know I'll get a lot of hate for this one. We have a lot of people that absolutely love this coaster and I did rank it at number two. I think this is one of the best coasters as far as pacing goes. I do think that Wildcat's Revenge is pretty much right up there but there's a couple of coasters I really just enjoyed a little bit more than Wildcat's Revenge. I've always said this, you're either all about pacing or all about airtime. And generally, if you love pacing, Iron Gwazi is your coaster. There's a lot of people out there with the opinion of Wildcat's Revenge is better than Iron Gwazi and Steel Vengeance. And remember, there's no wrong opinion. I caught up with a friend of mine who knows a thing or two about airtime, and here's what he had to say. Steel Vengeance? Uh, oh, oh, uh, yeah. no. No, no Wildcat's no. Revenge is not, not even, even close. close. <laughs> But nothing beats the airtime on the best steel coaster in the world. Steel Vengeance, 30 seconds of airtime. A lot of people do not like the second half of this coaster after you hit the trims, but I feel like that's when this thing just gets warmed up. I love the head choppers. I'm a sucker for head choppers. And this coaster just delivers. Now, just because a coaster has a really long layout, doesn't necessarily mean it's the best coaster. However, in the case of Steel Vengeance and Iron Gwazi, that 1700 feet of track difference, roughly, makes a huge difference. This thing feels like it's never ending. You sometimes have to wait two hours in line to get on this thing, but every time I got off of this thing, I was like, man, that was totally worth it. Very few coasters I have ever felt that way about. Thanks so much for watching really do appreciate it please be sure to give this video a like and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button to my fellow content creators i want to introduce my new channel where i post different videos and footage of rides and coasters from all around the world i'll leave a link in the description 
for anybody who cares to use any of my footage. I want to thank everyone and I hope everyone has a blessed day.